Hello, Noble Knitter. It's Nancy Queen, and I'm here to show you how to make this super soft, really cozy, really easy to knit bunny scarf. And it uses just one skein of this Premier Bunny yarn. So you're going to love it. It's a really nice, generously sized scarf. You can wear it just around your neck for you know, just to keep you warm, but if you're looking for something to really cozy you up, I like to fold it in half and then put the tails through the loop. And then you've got this really cozy neck warmer for the coldest days ever. Uh, but let's get right into it. You're gonna love this scarf. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the bell to get notified every time I post. You'll need a pair of size 19 knitting needles, that's 15 millimeters, a finishing needle, and a pair of small scissors. You'll also need one skein of Premier Bunny yarn, and as you can see here, it's a size 7 jumbo weight yarn. I've provided links to all of the materials in the description below. I'm going to start my cast on by leaving a tail of about four to six inches. Then I'm going to make two loops and put one inside the other to make a slip knot. Then I pull up and there's my slip knot. Now I'm just going to adjust the size and place the slip knot on the needle and I tighten it up. Now I'm going to ignore that little tail of yarn that I made and using the strand that's attached to the skein, that's the working yarn, I'm going to start making my slip knots. Now as you can see it's really fluffy so you want to make sure you're casting on with that strand not the fluff. So I'm going to put the first stitch on the needle Actually, that's the second stitch because the first stitch is our slip knot. And I use it by, I make this by putting my thumb under the yarn or my finger and then I turn it to create a loop and I just put that loop right on the needle. And I'm going to do this so that I have nine stitches on my needle. Now my finished scarf measures five inches wide by 62 inches long and I still had over half the skein left so if you want to cast on um, more stitches you could cast on 12 stitches or 13 stitches that'll add a few inches to your uh, width and then you can keep knitting 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 until it gets to 62 inches and you'll probably have a little bit left over to knit it a even longer than that. Now once I've cast on I'm going to put the stitch the knitting in my left hand and then with the other needle I'm going to insert that into the first stitch and wrap the yarn counterclockwise around the needle and then pull up the first stitch. Now it may look like I'm struggling, I'm not. It's just that the first stitch, the first row, especially with this E-wrap cast on, is a little tricky to work but it will get easier on the next row. So you go into the stitch wrap the yarn around, pull up the new stitch, and slide the old stitch off the needle. Let's do that again. I'm going to go into that first stitch, wrap the yarn counterclockwise around that back needle, pull up the stitch, and slide the old stitch off. You'll get a nice rhythm with this because this is it. You're knitting, and the entire project is worked this way. And remember, you want to make sure you're working the stitches, not the fluff yarn. You want to make sure you're on that core strand of yarn. And you can feel it. Once you get it in your hands, it seems like I'm just knitting with all this fluff. But you can feel that cord when you're working each stitch. Now when you reach the end of your cast on row, we're going to start row number two. We're going to move the knitting back to our left hand and make sure you're knitting the yarn that's attached to the skein. That's called the working yarn, not that little strand of yarn. And you insert the stitch 
the needle into the first stitch, wrap the yarn around counterclockwise, pull up the new stitch and take the old stitch off. Now I move some of the stitches forward. I'm going to go into the next stitch, wrap the yarn counterclockwise, take that stitch off the needle and the new stitch is on the new needle. And you're basically making a stitch and moving your knitting from one needle to the other needle. You'll just keep repeating your knit stitch all the way across the row. When you get to the end of the row, turn your work, move your knitting back into your left hand and continue knitting until your scarf measures about 62 inches from the beginning or the desired length. Now I'm going to show you how to bind off your knitting and end your work. To bind off, you're going to knit the first stitch. Now you're going to knit the second stitch, just as, just as you knit the first stitch. Now what you're going to do is take this first stitch and move it up and over that second stitch that's on the needle. You're just going to take it right off the needle, keeping that second stitch there. I put my finger there to keep it in place. Now for the next stitch, you knit it, and then you're going to take the first stitch up and over, and you're just going to keep repeating this across the row. So your right needle will have one stitch on the needle at all times, and two just before you're going to bind it off. So now we have two stitches. We're going to take that first stitch up and over and we'll be back to one stitch. And you don't want to be too tight or too loose with your bind off. You just want to be at the same tension you've been knitting everything else. People tend to get really tight, but you want to still make sure that that stitch gets up on the shaft of the needle so that the bind off isn't really tight. And you'll just keep working this all the way across the row until you are down to one stitch. Okay, I'm down to the last stitch on my needle. So what I'm going to do is cut that yarn, leaving about a four to six inch tail. And I'm going to slide that stitch off the needle. And then I'm going to put the tail through that last stitch and I'm going to tighten it up. Now, imagine that being a much longer scarf. I just did this as a little sample for you to see the cast on, the knitting, and the bind off. Now, you could um, weave it in with your fingers, but I like to use a finishing needle just so I can really bury it in there and I know that it's not going to come loose. So I just thread the tail with my needle, and in this case, I'm just going to dig it in there and make sure that I get into a few stitches. And then I'm going to pull. Sometimes this yarn catches a little bit, but um, you just keep at it, pull on it a little, and you'll be able to pull up that loop or that tail. And then I'm going to clip it close to the work. Just make sure you don't cut the stitches. And then I'm going to thread the other end and repeat the same technique. If you enjoyed this course and you want to grow your knitting skills, check out my scarf boot camp. It's five different scarves and five different knitting techniques. There's a link in the description below, and I'll see you in the next video.